These images are part of what Amnesty International calls indisputable proof the Israeli military illegally used white phosphorus in Gaza. The smoke-producing and incendiary chemical is banned in civilian areas because of its intense heat and fumes. The Israelis admit firing 200 white phosphorus shells, but deny breaking international law. The last bombing raid here was a week ago. The area is littered with pieces of shrapnel and bits of sticky, gummy brown material like this. Rub it, it bursts into flame and emits an acrid smoke. Distinct characteristics, experts say, of white phosphorus. Saba Halima's hands are an example of the kind of wound white phosphorus inflicts. In hours, it becomes much deeper and much wider. Uh, plus, the smoke comes out from the wound. The UN Refugee Agency says white phosphorus hit its warehouse in the city center. I think there are people who have said if it looks like white phosphorus, it acts like white phosphorus, it must be white phosphorus. It's not. Jody Clark risked her life to pull a burning shell from under a fuel tanker. I ran to the workshops, another shell landed probably 30 meters in front of me, and then just fireworks burst up from the ground and sprayed pellets of of uh, a burning substance all over the place. This is part of one of the shells. The fire extinguisher didn't put it out. It, it continued to burn. And in fact, when we went back uh, an hour later to fight the rest of the fire, it was still burning. The Israelis have ordered an inquiry, but human rights groups are calling for an international investigation. Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Gaza City.